Gotta do it again. Alright, which shotgun needs to pull out of your ass next, huh? Something else? That's all you got there, buddy? Not gonna work. Sorry, I'm gonna fuck y'all up. How about this? Who's gonna get fucked up now? Hey, stop trying to fuck with me. Not even funny, dude. Alright, what else? What do y'all want to get into next? You yeah, see these sons of bitches, they think they're all slick, but they ain't shit. Hey! What the fuck? Is that all you're up to? What is that other guy doing? Like, it, it keeps switching the camera and locking on them. Maybe I don't want to lock on them. Okay. It didn't even hit any of them back at him. Not like it even stuns him or hurts him or anything. Hey, not cool. Actually, I've been forgetting that I can do this and unfreeze myself. Alright, what else? What are you doing? Hey! Stop doing that. Alright, where are you at, buddy? There we go. Come on. Got that son of a bitch done. Sweet. Uh, hitting them back at it doesn't do shit, so... Just pull your... Actually, I think the only thing that actually does seem to work is the bomb. That's really the only one that seems to work that he pulls out of his ass. So pull that bomb out of your ass, I dare you. I dare you, you son of a bitch. Yeah, this isn't gonna do shit. It just... If anything, it helps me. Yeah. Alright, pull that bomb out of your ass again. There we go, that's beautiful. Okay, which one is the... Beautiful. Alright, hey buddy. There we go. How about you get down here so we can fuck you up? Ah, uh, that that didn't that, that that was boring. We're gonna fuck him up though. We'll be good. Now he just needs to pull the bomb out of his ass again and we'll be alright. Yeah, so what have I been up to? Let me see. I'm trying to get um uh well, actually, probably after this, I'll probably start getting, uh, what is it? The new episode of, uh, The Walking Dead Season 2 ready to go live on my channel tonight. Let me see, which one is fire? I think this one is fire. That one's fire. Pretty sure. There we go. Come over here. Wait, did it? Wait, what was that? Okay, I thought I blew up his bomb. Did it not blow up his bomb? Yeah, I just gotta get it ready to go live tonight and I'll be alright. And then I can kind of relax, but not really because I, I'm still behind on other stuff. Like, I gotta get Remember Me ready to go live too. But my shit, my, my computer's so always fucking tied up. It's annoying. There we go. That should be- that's it? There we go. Yeah, and see, this is gonna even tie up my computer probably for like a fucking week. It's so annoying. Like, I can mean I- I can do stuff, but it takes way too long, too. I can take- can take anywhere from twice as long to five times as long to take care of business. It's so annoying. So usually when I do that, I end up stopping the rendering and then take care of business, but it's time to read more dialogue again. The twin demons, which had suddenly awoken atop Izofuji and tried to lay waste to the land of Kamui, were defeated. They disappeared in a burst of petals, thanks to Oki and Amaterasu. However, a giant cloud, black as night, cast a shadow on the scene. Light nine tails, the twin demons, Lechku and Nechku, the souls of each were swept into the cloud as it moved. It drifted toward the Ark of Yamato at the bottom of La Lauichi Lake. The Ark of Yamato is beckoning all of the world's darkness within. Tusco's words echoed ominously, awakening Amaterasu's heart. All these sacrifices, all the life lost in the name of good, 
Was it all in vain? Shiranui, Amaterasu's 100-year-old incarnation, was fatigued and exhausted by the intense battle. However, when Shiranui noticed the glow of Oki's sword, Kutone, Kutoni, a sly smile seemed to crease the wolf's hired lips. Satisfied with this bright glimmer of hope, Shiranui struggled to rise and put every last ounce of strength into passing through Ishiku's gate back in time, back home. As Amaterasu and Isun looked on, they were fully aware that Shiranui headed back into the face of danger, to the battle with Orochi. After saving Nagi from the clutches of death and aiding them in their own quest, Shiranui would die a hero, marking the beginning of the legend of Orochi. As Ikushu, Ikush, Ishiku left the scene, his eyes betrayed the sort of toughness one exhibits when preparing for a grave event. If you say so. So what's happening? Ooh, I get a sun fragment. I thought I was going to get something else, not a sun fragment. Obtain sun fragment, don't I get it? Where's my divine instrument, though? Maybe I want that. And we get to see uh, uh, Shiranui, not Shiranui. Amaterasu Booty Hall. Just great. Isn't that fun? So. Sure, I'll save. I'll figure out what else we get into. But I'm pretty sure we're kind of. I'm, I'm gonna be getting to the end of my session soon. So we'll see how that goes. Should go okay. Should go over well. And swell. And what have you. Maybe. What's going on? Amaterasu and the others returned to the foot of Izofuji. There they saw Lika praying intently the storm had subsided. Then, as if to celebrate their hard-won victory, the twin volcanoes of Izofuji erupted in great pillars of flame. The villagers felt the warmth on their skin and wept tears of joy. However, Oki merely surveyed the scene stoically. 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 Remaining silent. Although the evil demons had been driven away, the thought of having taken the sword and caused so much grief weighed heavily on his heart. The only one who could ease the burden of his woes was Sumikul. The chieftain who had rescued Kemu from the shrine stepped forward. Silently, he approached Oki, offering an outstretched hand. His eyes betrayed the complexity of the emotions behind the gesture. Oki, realizing the gravity of the scene, extended his hand in turn. The moment they shook hands, Webkir was reborn into a village far too strong to ever fall victim to evil again. That's awesome. As for Kutone, the sword that vanished, the twin demons, vanquished. It was returned to its pedestal by Oki's own hands. And as long as the glow remained, no evil dared draw close. Kutoni's gleam spoke of a power too great to succumb to evil at that moment. Oh no, what happened at that moment? A brilliant flash of light shot forth from Kutone, striking squarely on the frozen fa surface of Laoichi Lake. Though the lake had never shown any sign of melting, cracks began to open up along its surface. The legend of the Iron Ark Yamato said to have fallen from heaven, and the holy Laoichi Lake, which it called home, was revealed. To be more than a mere legend before all those pre present. Oh, okay. So we're going to figure out what this was about, huh? This is actually kind of annoying because it's going to poop out, but it, it was e kind of easier to make my way around the area when it was actually frozen rather than that. So there's like some stuff I gotta do around the lake, but I didn't do it because I was just too busy focusing on progressing through the area and what have you. Um, but that would mean uh, I'm gonna have to take care of business. And it shoots out this rainbow over here. Why isn't it a double rainbow though? I, I never really understood that whole meme, like the rainbow, double rainbow. I don't get it. I never got it. Didn't really understand it. You know what? 
Actually, that means if I proceed up there, that's the end of... That would be the last session, but I'm not...